So the first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyelids and I'm using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion like I always do. I'm obsessed and I have a backup of it because it's so good. If you have really oily eyelids like I do, I would highly suggest this kind because it just soaks up your oil and it doesn't make your eyeshadow crease at all and it just makes it stay all day. I never have any problems with this eyeshadow primer. And ignore this, I literally have like a pimple on my eyelid. I don't know why, I literally just had one like on this side and it finally went away and now I have one on this side. Now to set that, I'm going to use my favorite single eyeshadow by Wet n Wild, it's in Creme Brulee. And I bring this all the way up to my brow bone also. I kind of just use it as my brow bone highlight when I do that. Then I don't have to apply it later. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to be going into a transition shade. And I'm going to be using the Milani Single Shadow in the shade Cappuccino. And I'm just going to be putting this all over my lid and in the crease. Now this is the closest, closest mustard yellow that I could find in my collection. And it's in the palette Huda Beauty Electric Obsessions. Now that's about as mustery as I can find in my collection. So if that's not right, I apologize. But that's what I could find. Everything else was like totally different yellow. But when I held this next to a mustard bottle, it looked pretty spot on. So this is the one that I'm going to be using today and just put it all over my lid. I'm going to try using a little Fix Plus to see if it's any more intense. Because I really do want this to be like an intense yellow black look. Yes, that helped out so much. Fix plus for the win. Oh yeah, that is yellow. Now I'm just going back into my transition shade and kind of blending out those edges. Now for the scary part, black. I I do not use black on my eyelids very often as you would probably know if you watch all my tutorials, but this is the Wet n Wild Black in the shade Panther. This is as black as it gets. This is so pigmented, like I'm going in with a very light hand with this. It's so pigmented. It is by far the best drugstore black out there. Just go in steady. You don't have to rush it. Just slowly blend. That's all we can do is blend, blend, blend. That pimple though is bugging me. I feel like you can totally see it on the camera. It's bad. Somewhat blending it into my crease, but basically just keeping it on the outer corner. Slowly pack it on, slowly blend. I honestly loved this request because it's gave me outside my comfort zone because I rarely use yellows and I never use black on my eyelids. I really appreciate the subscriber that actually gave me this idea. 
I'm just like, ooh, that sounds really pretty. I'm gonna try that. I kid you not though, this black will last you the rest of your life because you barely have to dip your brush into it and it's so pigmented. I think Went Wild eyeshadows are bomb anyways. They are one of my favorite eyeshadows from the drugstore. But this eyeshadow alone, it beats a lot of high-end blacks. And that's saying a lot considering that this is like 99 cents. This is cheaper than dirt and it's the best. Now just going back into that transition shade and kind of just blending out those edges again. Gonna go back into that yellow shade and re-intensify the lid a little bit. Because some of it got blended away when we put the black and transition shade back on. Now what I'm going to do is go into my transition shade, put some on my brush, and kind of just put it where the two colors meet. It's not going to make a huge difference, but it's going to blend them together a little bit more. I'm just going to go back into the black and intensify it a little bit more. Now I'm going to attempt a wing. As you know, I never ever ever do wings or lashes on my channel, but I'm going to attempt to just because I want to do something different and I got those creative juices out and I just want to try and see if I can do it. So, wish me luck. Woo, I survived, I did a wing. I'm so proud of myself. Now I'm going to go into mascara and I'm going to use the Tarte Tartiest Lash Paint. Alright, now I'm just going to go do my lashes and my face and I will be right back to finish my under eye makeup. Okay, I managed to put on eyelashes and it feels so weird, like my eyelids feel so heavy right now. That's so weird because you would think every beauty blogger would wear lashes like every single day, but I haven't wore fake lashes for about two years now, but I just wanted to try something different and I thought it would look really good with this look, so why not? But for my bottom lash line, I'm going to go back into this yellow shade and just put it all along my bottom lash line. Then for the rest, I'm going to put the shade Panther kind of from my pupil outward, but closer to my waterline. Then I'm going to put ColourPop Eyeliner in the shade Swerve all along my waterline. Now just to pop mascara on my bottom lash line. Last but not least, but for my inner corner highlight, I'm going to be using the Becca Pressed Highlight in the shade Vanilla Quartz. 